actually. Well, as we continue to celebrate and honor Black History Month, I had the chance to talk exclusively with actress extraordinaire Lynn Whitfield. We talked candidly about her groundbreaking career as a black actress growing up right here in the capital city and her heartfelt message to her Baton Rouge hometown. Here's this week's Uniquely Baton Rouge. For decades, she's graced our screens. Ain't nobody colored me. I was born this way. From television to film, Lynn Whitfield is as treasured a name as the iconic characters she's portrayed. But they're lost now. We've only got to use them. And this hometown gal is truly BR proud. What are some of your fondest memories kind of, of growing up here in Baton Rouge? Everybody in Baton Rouge knows who your grandmother is, your grandfather, who your dad is. And it was a real sense of care and co community. So that was one really um, something that I, you know, that I miss to this day. I, I, in fact, I don't think I've ever been as social as I was when I was growing up in Baton Rouge. Today, the South Baton Rouge neighborhood, which fostered Lynn's sense of community, looks very different. Dilapidated buildings and abandoned storefronts mask the rich history that lies beneath. Something happens when you put a freeway. When I was born, there wasn't a freeway right there at the end that sort of separated uh, one end of Terrace Street from the other. And there's a distinctive difference as you go several blocks over. So simply attention needs to be paid to the community, energy put into it, money put into it, and to seek out those pillars of the community. Pillars like Lynn's grandfather, Dr. Leo S. Butler, one of Louisiana's first black high school graduates and one of the first black doctors in Baton Rouge. Her parents were also trailblazers. Her father, Valerian, was a dentist and arts enthusiast, founding the Baton Rouge Community Course in 1952. Her mom, Valeria Jean, is a former president of the Louisiana Housing Authority. In my family, there was definitely a sense of, of being um, high achievers, good work ethic, and also a sense of responsibility and a sense of that service was important. You know, we share an alma mater <laughs> with our university. Yes, um, hi, friends. Hi, Tyson, H U, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, what role did Howard play in really where you are today? I don't know if I, if I particularly, my thumbprint would be in the world if my mother and father hadn't met at Howard to know that Donnie Hathaway and Roberta Flack had studied right upstairs for me before I got there to know that Debbie Allen and Felicia had come through and it built my backbone uh, that, you know, our culture is very important and stands on its own, you know, and the, being a part of that institution, the capstone of black education <laughs> was just... From Howard, all the world was her stage, and she became a big player. From her Emmy-winning and Golden Globe nod portrayal of Josephine Baker to starring alongside Martin Lawrence in A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Just last month, Lynn was nominated for an NAACP Image Award for her role as Lady May in Owns' hit drama, Greenleaf. I'm curious, do you have a favorite role that you played or portrayed? I love all my ladies. <laughs> you know, I, I do. It could be a cautionary tale. It could be an aspirational tale or an inspirational tale. I always try to present, you know, a dimensional human being. What would your message be to Baton Rouge um, as we kind of wrap this up? Well, my message to Baton Rouge would be sometimes it's a lonely business out there. But when I know that my hometown people Baton Rouge will love me and support me and be there through the good times and the bad times. And I can't tell you how much I love and appreciate all you've given me and all you've done for me. So thank you so much.